हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक गाइस टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस हाउ टू टेक बैकअप ऑफ सिस्को आईओएस ऑन टीएफटीपी सर्वर हाउ टू टेक बैकअप ऑफ सिस्को आईओएस ऑन टीएफटीपी सर्वर सो इन दिस टोपोलॉजी यू कैन सी देयर इज वन सर्वर एंड दिस इज माय टीएफटीपी सर्वर दिस इज माय टीएफटीपी सर्वर सो वी विल लर्न हाउ टू टेक बैकअप ऑफ सिस्को आईओएस from router to tftp server then we will discuss how to restore ios from tftp server to router right then we will discuss how to take backup of configuration of router right so i will configure something on this router and then i will show you how to take backup of that configuration on tftp server fine then how to restore configuration of router from tftp server to router so i will configure something on this router on router number 3 and i will copy that configuration on router number 2 i will connect this router to this switch and i will show you how i can copy the configuration which is saved on tftp server to router 2 to this router okay so guys without wasting our time let's begin so as you can see over here on router interface i will configure this ip address 10.0.0.1 and on this server i will configure this ip address 10.0.0.2/8 so i have already configured ip address let me show you yes you can see ip address is 10.2 and default gateway is 10.1 and in services you can see there is one tftp service and by default this service is enable there are two file let me remove this file now you can see there is nothing on tftp server right so first of all let me show you how to take backup of router ios on tftp server so guys go to this router and let me configure this router first okay so say no after that enable and so flash so flash here you can see this is my flash memory this is my flash memory in flash there is one file this file i am talking about this file this is ios image and this is ios image so let me configure ip on router interface first of first for connectivity between router and server so that i can copy the ios from router to tftp server so interface f0/0 and say no set and ip address is suppose 10.0.0. yes ip address is 10.1.255.0.0.0 now i want to copy my ios image from this router to tftp server so what you need to do first you have to copy the name of ios image so this is name of my ios image let me copy it okay let me copy it okay now copy command to take backup of router ios to tftp server command is copy flash to tftp right i am going to copy some file from flash to tftp server after that enter then see source file name so source file name is file name this one right this one is source file name let me paste it over here after that address or name of remote host means now this router is asking tftp server where you want to store this ios image so ip address of tftp server is 10.0.0.2 and then destination name destination file name so suppose destination file name is cisco underscore ios right with the with this name i want to save ios image on tftp server and now on tftp server you can see there is no any file right in tftp server on tftp server there is no any file now so let me paste it let me enter over here and now you can see my 
iOS image is copying from router to TFTP server and it's done now so this is size of file 931343 byte information has been copied from router to TFTP server now let me delete flash memory delete flash and file name file name of the file which you want to delete so paste it over here let me paste the file name of ios image okay enter now you can check so flash there is not ios image in flash now if you will reload this router you will get access in roman mode because now router don't have ios image so let me show you reload say yes now you can see i have get access in roman mode right and your router interface is now down the router interface is now down so here in roman mode you have to configure one ip address on this router you have to configure one ip address on this router so let me configure one ip address ip and see if you will put question mark here let me maximize it guys if you will put question mark here so here you can see tftp image download so if you want to download image from tftp server to router you have to run this command tftp dnld command will be tftp dnld right but before running this command you have to provide some information like you have to configure one ip address one submit mask default gateway tftp server ip address and tftp server sorry file name of your ios image which is present on tftp server so first of all let me configure ip so command is ip here you can see ip underscore address equals to ip address of this machine is 10.0.0.1 after that ip underscore subnet mask subnet underscore mask equal to 255.0.0.0 then default gateway default underscore gateway gateway equals 10.0.0.1 then you can see tftp server so ip address of tftp server tftp underscore server equals 10.0.0.2 this is ip address of tftp server after that tftp underscore file file name of your ios image is cisco underscore ios right now you will run tftp dnld command tftp dnld right say yes now this router will copy ios image image from from tftp server to router here you need to reset the router let me reset it and now you can verify so flash so in flash now you can see there is one file that is cisco ios this is your ios image so this is how you will uh, configure backup of ios image and how to restore ios image from tftp server to router in the same way if you want to upgrade ios of a router what you will do first of all you need to download the upgraded ios image you have to put that image on tftp server and you you need to delete previous ios from router and then you can restore from tftp server to router right so this is upgradeation process as well process will be same to upgrade ios image now guys my concern is 
how to take backup of configuration of router so first of all let me do some configuration on this router let me configure something on this router let me change host name so host name is suppose pm underscore networking host name is pm networking fine let me configure some password enable password is suppose one two three four five okay so suppose this is configuration of my router now this configuration is available in ram so if my power bill goes off right if i will turn on the device off the device and if i will turn on again so you can see let me turn off let me turn on now after booting your configuration will loss am i right after booting you will see default host name here you can see default host name is router so first of all you have to save your configuration from ram to nvram so that if power bill goes off your configuration will be still there in nvram right in a startup configuration so let me configure again guys host name is pm underscore networking okay enable password is 12345 fine this is configuration of my router now first of all i have to copy my running configuration into a startup configuration to save the configuration now if power bill goes off your configuration will not loss let me show you let me turn off the device and let me turn on again here you can see router is booting after booting you will see host name will be still same host name will be still same right host name is pm networking now i want to take backup of my configuration on tftp server so enable enable after that uh, enable password is 12345 now copy running configuration into tftp after that address or file name of host device so tftp server ip address is 10.0.0.2 destination file name is suppose router underscore configuration config fine this is file name wait so running configuration is has been copied on tftp server size of configuration is 213 byte now you can verify on tftp server as well you can see on tftp server there are two file first one is cisco ios this is my ios image and other one is router configuration this is configuration of my router now i want to copy this configuration on this router right so suppose i have run 1000 command on this router right so configuration of this router is very large so i want to copy all configuration on this router so let me show you how you will copy let me connect this router to this switch and you need to configure one ip address on this interface on g0/0 let me replace this router guys let me take one other router from same series this one okay and you connect with switch and now i i, I am going to copy configuration of router from tftp server to this router so first of all you have to configure one ip address on this interface of router 4 let me configure one ip address go take cli and say no after that config t interface f0/0 say no set and ip address is 10.0.0.3 suppose ip address of this device is 3 can i ping my tftp server 10.0.0.2 
so yes i am able to ping so here you will run command copy tftp to running configuration then address of remote device means ip address of tftp server is 10.0.0.2 let me hit enter source file name is file name of your configuration on tftp so file name is router config right so source file name is router underscore config destination file name is suppose by default now you can see my configuration has been copied on this router now you can see host name is pm networking right let me show you say let me run enable command now you can see this router is asking for password enable password right so this is how you will take backup of your configuration right so that's all for today guys if you have any doubt please let me know in chat definitely i will clear your doubt with one more video thanks for watching bye bye